If you're wondering what I'm doing, a lot of times Bella's asking me to pet her, so that's what I'm doing. She's right here, like, staring at me with these eyes, saying, pet me, pet me. I know, I know, it's a hard word. Hi, lovelies. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am going to do a question and answer. This is my first one I've ever done. I'm so freaking excited to do it. I've just been so nervous and insecure to do it. So this is also part of a giveaway. So at the very end of this video, I will be saying my favorite question and then answering it. And then that person is the winner of the giveaway, which was two books and an audible book of your choice. So I'm going to get started because y'all had a lot of questions for me. So I think I'm going to do this more often because I like it and I like getting to know you guys and having that kind of conversation. So I'm going to get started because there are a bazillion questions. First question comes from Barbara Sherry. She asks, what's your favorite childhood memory? I think my favorite childhood memory, just the thing that pops up in my brain, is going to the Jersey Shore. Every year we went to Long Beach Island and we stayed in Beach Haven and we, we are vacationers. Like when we go somewhere, we vacation. Like we're not running around like crazy and doing amusement parks and like all these things. We like play putt putt golf, we go to the beach every day and we have a relaxing time. So I always really loved that and I miss it. So that is my favorite childhood memory. This is from Sweetheart XOXO27 and she asks, what's your faith? Mine's Christian. I am Christian and I don't know what that means to everybody, but for me it just means that I believe in being a good person and um, not judging people and um, accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior. And um, I think when you say you're Christian, sometimes, sometimes there's a negative connotation with it that we're very judgy or we look down upon people. And that makes me really sad because that's not what being a Christian is about at all. Um, everybody sins. And that's just the way it is. I'm not going to judge someone because they sin differently than I do because I sure as heck sin every single day. Okay, the next question is from Lily UF, which is Leanne. Um, she said, my question is book related. Do you have a favorite book that isn't currently a movie, but you wish it was? Yes, I do. It's this book right here. Well, not this specific book, but it's a series, and it's by Jonathan Mayberry, and it's called Rotten Ruin. I think it would make an amazing movie. It's so action-packed, really cool, zombies, samurai swords, it's like Walking Dead on crack. It's so, so awesome, and I would love to see where they shoot it, and I have such, I've created, it's one of those books that, I've really created what everything looks like around them and what the characters look like and I'd be curious to see that in a movie and hope that the casting director like nailed it and I think that'd be really cool. So thanks for the question. The next question is from Really Emily Lowe and she asks, what age were you when you tried makeup for the first time? Ignoring the fact that I look like a hooker right now with this makeup. Um, I actually didn't wear makeup at all. I was obsessed with lip gloss. I always wore lip gloss and that was it. Um, and I probably, I mean my senior picture, I do not have any makeup on and it is scary. I don't even have my eyebrows waxed. It's frightening. Really, really scary. Uh, I think probably in college is when I started wearing um, makeup because I had friends that were really into MAC and so that's when I got really interested in it and started buying it and trying it out and that kind of jazz. So I was a late bloomer with makeup, but I love it. So the next question is from Josie Herrera and she asks, would you rather be on a few chapters of any book you want and die very early in the story or just live your normal life every day but live forever? This is a really easy question for me to answer because 
I have already told my parents this that I hope I die before them and sorry sucks for you but I don't actually want to be around when like anyone dies because I just do not deal well I mean like I know everyone doesn't deal well but I really like I'm the crazy person collapsed in the corner like it's not good so if I was gonna live forever that would mean like I would see everyone I love die and I would still be around so I don't even have to really think about this question that deep because that's just like panic right there. So <laughs> thanks for the question, Josie. The next question is from Cassandra Nunez. And she asks, which author's books do you always pick up? Janet Ivanovich is one of those authors that I read every single one of her books. And I get really excited when one of her books comes out. I'm on the 22nd book, so I think that would be fair to say that her books are the ones that I grab right away. The other question she asked is, do you love or hate or don't mind book to movie adaptations? I, I like it. I love movies and I love books and so it's just kind of this like combination of two of my favorite things. It can go horribly wrong or it can be really awesome. For instance, I, the Divergent movie. I actually really loved the book and I really loved the movie and other things like Hunger Games, I was obsessed with Hunger Games before anyone knew about it and I was so excited for the first movie. I went to the midnight screening, we all freaking braided our hair in Katniss braid and everything. And I just didn't like it. I was like really, the parts of the book that I was really interested in, like completely not in the movie. So it was a fail in my book. I know a lot of people like it. It wasn't like, it wasn't horrible. I'm not saying that, but um, the parts that I really, really like, I just needed more Cinna. Honestly, I just needed more Cinna. So the next question is from Mido Arezbu asks, where do you like to read your books? I actually, this is, I really only like to read my books in my bed. And if I go anywhere else, like to a coffee shop or to Barnes and Nobles or anywhere else, I just will read the same line over and over and over again because I get so distracted looking around at other people. I have to be like at home, just focused on that and reading and that's where I like just to be in my pajamas comfortable snuggled in bed and just reading the next question is from Laura Ortega and she says my question is if there were going to make a film about yourself which actress would you like to play your role and which genre would the film be that's a hard one because it's like is it what I would creatively think it would be or like what my actual life is um, but the first person that comes to mind is Angelina Jolie because like I would love for them to be like hmm who could we cast for Emily oh Angelina Jolie she's gorgeous so she would be perfect for Emily um, but it probably would be <laughs> I'm like trying to think of an unattractive actress but I can't think of one in the genre of the film, I would love it to be a documentary because I'm all about spreading awareness and I think that would be really, really cool to have a really famous actress play me and have it be like documentary style. Do you know that? Like a lot of horror movies do that. So it wouldn't actually be me, but I think it would be really cool if they played me in a documentary type style where they interview the person and talk about everything they're going through and like pain and tolerance and faith and all that kind of stuff. So next question is from Acacia Alexis and they ask, what is your favorite color and favorite food? Why am I such a complicated person? For color, I would say, this is weird, but most people won't accept it. I pick black as my favorite color, but people say that's grayscale, that's not actually a color. Um, but I like black because I find it intriguing. But I would say like my favorite color to have around or like, oh, if someone was like, what color lollipop do you want? 
I would say pink or purple probably. Um, and then my favorite food is, I would say Chinese food. I probably eat Chinese food every single day. I really, really, really like it and I don't get hardly any of it around here. Okay, the next question is from Marcy and she asks, what gave you the idea for starting a YouTube where you are so often I think she meant talk about your fibro with your viewers. You are very brave. Your videos just brighten up my day. Thank you so much for that, Marcy. And I'm so glad that I can brighten up your day at all or give you a giggle. Um, that's actually why I started this channel. I wanted to raise awareness and to show people that there are different faces to illness. And a lot of times when people have this idea in their mind of what someone that is disabled looks like they don't picture this so I want to put my mug out there but for as far as the idea uh, I it was something that God put on my heart I didn't actually know anything about YouTube or filming I still don't actually know really <laughs> but uh, and it was just to, to do this year-long project every single day and to just be brutally honest and to force myself to be brutally honest because I don't like to show people imperfections and on this channel I do every single day and when I'm really down I tell you guys when I'm really down and when I'm really sick I tell you and when I'm really happy I tell you and I think that was really important to me but I also wanted to make light of things and to bring humor into a situation that could be so depressing and so sad and just miserable because that's how I deal with my illness is I find humor in it and I laugh at myself and I laugh with my friends and I laugh with my parents and um, that's how I get through it. So I'm really glad you asked that question. Thank you for asking that Marcy. The next question is from Angie Teeter and she asks, what is your favorite subscription service? I think right now I would have to say Wantable and oh, this is really biased right now because they're starting to send out scarves and I'm I'm obsessed, like obsessed with scarves. I have scarves, I have an addiction. So I would say Wantable right now, they've been really nailing it. It's $36 a month and I pretty much am getting things that are at my favorite shops, and but they're getting sent to me. It's like I feel like a famous person that's just getting my stylist is just buying me things and then bringing them to my house and then just wear them. So that's definitely my favorite. The next question is from Erica Martinez, and she asks, "Who inspires you to make more videos on YouTube?" It honestly is you guys because I when when you say things to me like you brighten my day or you made today easier or I feel really sick today and I watched you ramble on for 30 minutes about absolutely nothing <laughs> That really encourages me and I don't know if I would still be doing what I'm doing if I didn't have you guys and to see and connect with you guys about so many different things and all of you guys really inspire me just by doing what you do, being able to watch videos and comment and interact with me and be kind and caring to each other and build a community and that's what keeps me going and inspired and I want to make videos that you guys like that's why I love doing giveaways so much is because you guys get so excited so um, that's that's who it is it's you okay this next question is so cool it was a very close close one it's a really interesting question and it was high up there on the list um, and this is from The Adventures of Me. Uh, it is, if you were an action figure, what three items would you be packaged with and why? I love this question. So, oh my gosh, I'm envisioning it. I'm sorry, I'm envisioning the, okay, me in this form. 
in a package. I would be holding a chihuahua. Yes, I would be holding a chihuahua because chihuahuas are get a bad rap, but if I use kind of like a stereotypical chihuahua, I could use that as a weapon, definitely. Like bite people's ankles and like tear their Achilles off or something. I don't know why I have to be like really an awful violent action figure, but that's where I'm going with this. Um, the next thing I think would probably be lip gloss. Like maybe lip gloss that like squirted out the actual lip gloss and it would like make like my enemies slip or like their cars like slide all over the place. And then the next thing would probably be a heating pad that I could like whip at people and like burn them with it. And then it would just be, I would be like immune to it, of course. But that would be really cool. So a chihuahua lip gloss that's special, don't forget that, and a heating pad. Those, those are awesome. The way I chose my favorite question was the one that made me think the most and I had no idea that, that that's how um, I was gonna pick the question it could have been something that made me really laugh and it was really hard you guys had amazing questions and a lot of them made me think really hard but this one really just struck me and just kind of really summed up my channel and what I'm trying to do here so the winner is Jennifer H and the question that she asked is what are five simple things in life that make you happy? So the five simple things in life that make me happy are this little girl right here. I love this little girl so much and she makes me so happy and what are you doing? We talked about this, remember? Stop, stop acting weird on camera. She is just my angel, she's my light, she makes me smile when I wake up even though I'm in a ton of pain, so I love her. She loves my studio lights. She just loves them, she just soaks them up. Soak them up, Belle, soak them up. Um, the other is my parents, my family. Um, and then the next is my friends. Uh, when I'm around my friends, they really, I don't get to see my friends very much and it sucks because before I would see my friends like almost every single day but when I do see them I just cherish it so much and like I feel almost empty I get on like I feel like I'm a car and like I get on empty and then when I see my friends or hang out with them or even talk to them I feel like my gas is full like my tank is full that sounds really creepy but that's how I feel um, so I feel very full and just alive and happy. So that is definitely one. Um, I would say my faith. That's number one. Um, and I just really don't know how I survived before I had my faith. <laughs> um, that really helps me a lot. And um, to be more specific, prayer. Um, I really am an advocate for prayer and to speaking our truth and speaking it out loud and asking for what we need from God because we're commanded to ask for our heart's desires and I forget to do that all the time and praying for other people so that's what really makes me happy and connected. The fifth thing would be simple things that make see this is why I picked this question because it was really honestly the hardest one for me to pick and it should have been the easiest question for me to pick I should have been able to be like bam 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 um, I would say my environment like where I live because I live near the beach and I really feel connected to the beach I feel like it's a very spiritual place and um, I just love the house that we live in and the life that I have and um, although I'm not always comfortable I have a very comfortable setup with my bed and my heating pads and all that kind of stuff so I feel very blessed to have that I don't know if that's necessarily simple but that's all I can think of so um, so congratulations Jen you won and you definitely had the hardest question to answer but it really made me think and I think it's a question that we all should answer in the comments down below 
answer Jen's question, what are the five things, simple things in your life that make you happy? And see if it's hard for you or see if it's easy. It should be easy for you. You should be able to name them very quickly. And we should think about those five things very often because we think about all these little minor things and worry about this and worry about that instead of looking at small items and saying, this is all I need to be happy. So I need to concentrate more on that. So congratulations, Jennifer H. for winning the two books and the audio book, so three books. Um, I hope you enjoy them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely wanted to answer so many more of your questions, but it is just a lot. Thank you guys so much for asking these questions. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you would like me to do more Q&As and maybe possibly giveaways as well. Maybe I'll do a giveaway each Q&A I do. Uh, but maybe not. I don't know. I like doing them so give me a thumbs up to let me know if you want more of these. Um, I hope you're having a pain free stress free day and I'm sending out X double O's and as always I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! for bed for this one. Time for bed for this one. Oh, this is so cute.